Hey guys, Tidy Beats here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this unboxing, it will actually you can't you guys can't technically see yet, but it's. more G Fuel, if you guys can't tell, and basically, I got a deal, as you guys can see already, I might as well show you guys, let's move that out of the way, <sighs> French Vanilla, I thought I'd show you, I thought I would give this a try, I'm not really a fan of iced drinks, like iced coffee or iced tea, but I thought I'd just give it a go. If I look really hot, it's because I've literally just had to split the dogs up. Um, let me just move that around there, guys. Make that better for you guys to see. There we go. Let's just get everything out. And we will... Unbox it all in a sec. Right, there's another shaker, packets, and just sticker. Right, that's the box. For the funny thing here, you, everyone might want to watch this. Yee! That's the box out of the way. That's how I get rid of my rubbish. Uh, thought I'd start with G Fuel sticker. Is it going to focus? Come on, you gonna focus? Come on, you know you wanna focus. It's Geo Fuel, you wanna focus? Come on. Come on, focus. Don't be a dick, focus. There we go. Focus then, and I hope you guys like that yeet I just did. I'm glad people like the eat to be honest. Um, before I get to that, I got this as a bundle. This was a bundle. Uh, this lot here, you see, this came to about um, about 40 odd quid, 40, 50 quid. That was including shipping from the States. Um, my girlfriend's just sat here laughing at the minute because they eat the box across the room. Um, as you guys know, you get your cotton candy, your fruit punt, sour cherry, I want to try that again actually, sour cherry and, is it going to focus, focus, come on, don't be a dick and yeet at the focus, there we go, there you go, that's focused, sour cherry, I want to try this one again because if I like this one I'm going to get a tub. Uh, sour blue chug rug. Kiwi and strawberry. Just so you guys know, these, I'm actually unimpressed with G Fuel. Because these were just chucked in the box. But i got to give them credit because of the pandemic. They didn't have to carry on this store. They could have stopped and waited until all this was over. Um, pink lemonade. Sorry about the dogs in the background. I've just had to split them up and they've been a pain in the ass today. Uh, I got rage, uh, raging gummy fish. A hey, gummy fish. Focus your gummy fish. There we go. Watch it with Did it do it right? Is it, it, there we go. Raging gummy fish. That's them out of the way with. Ha! Huh. One of the packets are leaking. I thought there was. Okay, you guys won't guess which flavour I think it is. Yeah, I know which flavour it is. It is very finger licking good. Um, out of all the flavors that could that could spill everywhere, Keem Stars Cotton Candy. Like literally, if I tip it upside down, 
it goes everywhere. Now, uh, if I... Look, guys. Uh, uh. G Fuel, what are you doing, man? Oh, there's the hole. The hole... Oh, there's been a puncher in the packet. If that's because of cost... No, I can't really complain to G Fuel. Could it be customs? I think customs have put a fucking hole in the packet. Because it's a knife cut. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a knife cut in the packet. Can you see that? Guys, there's a knife cut in my cotton candy G fuel. Well, someone was an Afro King star. Hey! Damn it, imagine if he comes on my fucking back for doing that. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh well. Um, that's weird though, how out of all of them, the cotton candy is the one that's been sliced. It's never happened before. They didn't stick it in a plastic seal this time, no. I can't remember, sorry guys, I'll be right back. I just can't remember what this fucking shaker's called. Hey guys, I'm back, and, wait, one minute, fuck. I'm back guys, and um, basically I got the Summit 5G shaker, I'll get this out for you now. Um, that bundle that I was on about, I can't find it on G Fuel anymore. Uh, the one where you get a tub, a shaker, and then the starter pack. I can't find it on G Fuel, I think they might have stopped it guys. Uh, but I got the Summit 5G shaker. Wait, it's got the G Fuel logo, orange and black, looking beautiful. Let's undo this. There's the top. There's the uh, insert. Smells like plastic, like normal. Yep. There's that one. I've got that one shaker. I got. The winter white shaker. I just love the look of this shaker and I had to pick it up because of how clear the plastic is. Um, winter white. Is it going to focus? There we go. G Fuels. There's the logo. Winter white shaker with the white insert. Love it. I'm probably going to do the drink in the winter white just so you guys can see the colour. Then I've got, I think this is the coffee cup. One sec. Yep, I've got the coffee cup shaker. The one that looks like a Starbucks shaker. As I put it. It looks like a Starbucks shaker if you guys see. There we go. Oh, bit of extra plastic, that's fine. Nah, it's gone. You got the winter white shaker. I mean, this is the coffee cup shaker. Like, oh, with a brown insert. Uh, I think it could have been better if it was green, but brown's fine. Looks like poop. Smells like plastic. Uh, it reminds me of Starbucks, actually, this cup, and I've never had a Starbucks. Tell it. Sorry, guys, I was just talking to my girlfriend. Um, as I said, you've got, I've got the packs with the cut open one. Pissed off about that. G Fuel, if you're listening, sort your shit out. Um, 
fucking hell, this video's been going on for 10 minutes. And I haven't even got to the flavour yet. <laughs> As you guys know, French vanilla. I think I've already done that bit at the start. But, yeah, French vanilla. Let's, um, let's get this open. What have I got all over my body? Oh, it's this one, is it? Oh, it's dog fur, because I've just been lifting up the dog. Let's open this, shall we, on camera? My nails are blunt. I'm struggling to open a shaker. Fuck it, one sec. Let's do it the old fashioned way with their own scooper, to go scooper. Can I press it? There we go, I think I got it. There we go. I'm literally struggling with this one, guys. Let's tell you what, let's just do it this way. Make it nice. Oh, it's that bit. Got ya. There we go, I got it past. I think I got it past. Yeah, I got it past. Right, let's finish this off. Hopefully, I can now undo this. The hell am I struggling with? I'm just doing really bad at G Field unboxings, guys. <laughs> I think that's undone. All the way, yep. There we go. Well, if it wasn't undone, it is now. <laughs> oh god, that was the worst seal unboxing I've ever done. Oh wow, it's because it broke through every. Oh, that's because the seal was put way too high up. Got ya. Oh, sorry. Because I don't even know if I'm going to like this flavour, guys. I'll be honest. Um, I'm so shiny. There we go. Going to focus? There we go. You guys can see the powder before me. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but to me, that smells like gravy. No way there. No, it does have a co it does have a coffee smell. The powder's different. It looks like um, hot chocolate. Okay. It doesn't smell too bad. It does smell like coffee. Powder tastes like coffee. Got to do your taste test with the powder. See if I can get this scooper out of here. You guys can see the scoop. Trying to empty the scoop, guys. It's way too much. You never use compact powder. It's way too much. Well, here we go. I'm just gonna go clean out this shaker, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, shakers all cleaned out, all ready to use. But yeah, this video's been going on 14 minutes. Fuck it. Let's get into the shower. This water's been sat for a couple of minutes because, as you guys can tell, condensation off the edge. Um, at least you know it's cold water, guys. Or at least you know it's cold water. Guys and girls, I should say. I don't use ice cubes. I just use really cold water. I can't get... It's a bit... There's a bit more in a bottle than a full cup. I mean, uh, like a full shaker cup full. Um, let's put the powder in. I forgot to do the pop on the bottle. I'll do that at the end, I think. I don't know how tight the lids are, so. You have to do a pop on the bottle.
There you go, guys. One cup. I mean, one seven. A G fill up to the line. Is it going to focus? Focus. You going to focus? If I do that. There you go, guys. I think you guys can see that. It's up to the line. Let's pull this in. That's a lot of powder, guys, in this one. Bloody hell, that's a bit too much powder, I think. Holy shit. I'm not even sure, guys, if I'm going to even like this. Because I'm not really keys, keen on iced ice, like, hot drink, like, iced tea and iced coffee. It's not my thing. But I only got it for the shaker cup and stuff, guys. So that's the powder. Let's put the lid back on. Pop the lid on, camera back up, camera focused, and shake. Yep, this is probably going to be the shaker cup that I use, guys, for most of my videos from now on. Because it's clear and I can, I can actually show you guys the colour. It actually does look like an iced tea or an iced coffee. Looks like poop as well, if you look at it, or mud. I've got my girlfriend in the background here laughing. I've got her in my headphone. Look, she sat there trying not to smile. I can see it, Terry. Shake, 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 shake. I would have used this shaker, but I wanted the, I wanted to keep that one. And I wanted to use the one that's clear for you guys. So you can see that it's the same drink. Almost gone. I wonder if you guys knew this, but in every energy drink, there's actually lead in them. In not just G Fuel either, in most energy drinks, there's actually lead in them. Like a 0.0005% of lead in all energy drinks, at least that. Let's see what else we got in here. If you look on the back, sometimes it'll say that there's lead in them. Um, there's none that's going to harm you. But if you guys didn't know that, that's a, a fact that there's actually lead. I think it might say. Tell you what, guys, this printing on this packet was off. I can't see where it says lead, guys, but there is definitely lead in them. I can promise you that. If you type up lead in energy drinks or lead in G Fuel to start with, I know for a fact there's lead in G Fuel. If I go to one sec, lead, lead, lead in and It's L E A D in it, lead. Right? 
Yeah, energy uh, fuel has lead in it. Um, other energy drinks have lead in it as well, but it's not enough to hurt you, not enough for you to notice. It's literally less than one gram. It's literally zero point zero 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 five percent. You're not allowed to know more than that in energy drinks by California law, if I remember right. Or something to do with that on section something something. That's all mixed up, guys. We're just ready for this taste test. Let's say the pop. Come on, pop. There we go. That's a big pop. Let's let's do the smell test. Huh. Definitely smells like vanilla, vanilla slash coffee. Let's try this because I'm not really keen on it. Oh, that for so, for someone who don't like uh, iced tea or iced coffee, that is really nice. Like, seriously, if you like iced tea and iced coffee, you will love this flavour. It actually tastes like French vanilla. I'll be honest. If you look, guys, you got the foam at the top. Uh, Terry. If you look as well, there's foam at the top. I can't deny it, it smells like coffee beans. It's not my favourite. I'd say it's one of my worst flavours. Because I'm not really that keen on it. Actually, now, now I've tasted it a bit longer, I'm not that keen on it. I can see me throwing this away after I've done this video. But I might drink it just to give it a chance. I'll drink it to give it a chance, but I don't know if this is going to be one I'll be having every day. It won't be one I'll be having every day because it's not a me flavour. But if you're into French vanilla, go for it. There's no there's no harm in your iced coffee or iced tea. Go for it. You'll probably like it. Um, I personally don't like it that much. And I know you guys are going to be like, so what am I doing with the tub? I'm going to keep it. Add it to my collection. I'll, I'll drink it now and then. But it won't be one that I have all the time. This is the first flavour I think I'm disappointed with. But I didn't have any hopes for this anyway, this flavour. Because I'm not that keen on it. Let's go to the pop test of all the other uh, shaker cups anyway, guys. That's a nice one. And right there. Uh, that one's a weak one, as you guys can tell. But that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you like French vanilla, iced tea, iced coffee, let me know what you think of this flavour, because I'm not keen on it. But I can't say it's the worst thing I've ever had, because I've had worse in my life. But this is it's not my favourite. But it's going to go on my tub of G Fuel. It's going to go down there. I think. I'm going to stick that there. And I'm going to move all this guys over to here. Eventually. And move all my setup around I think today. And so in the next G Fuel video guys. You probably will have. A new layout. For the video. For my videos. But I think that's about it guys. For this video. Um, Didn't really enjoy this one. I'll be honest. It really smells like shit to me, but I'm not really a nice tea or iced coffee drinker. That's going to be it, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.